Good afternoon, good afternoon. This is uh, Rashad Mitchell. Coming to you live from my YouTube channel as I continue on my part series on this day in black music. Excuse me. The week that was, College Football History and Review. The week that was, I apologize. Uh, this is a new, different part series. The week that was, College Football History and Review. The 1961 College Football season. Now I'm on week five of 1961. The games that were played on October 21st, 1961. And we're going to start with Columbia versus Harvard. But Columbia beat Harvard 26 to 14. Next, Clemson beat Duke 17 to 7. Alabama, number five team in the country at the time, beat Tennessee 34 to 3. Alabama beat Tennessee for the first time since 1954 with its mighty defense, which allowed only 61 yards and five first downs. The Volunteers enjoyed a glorious moment, however, as kicker George Stuford made soaring 53 yard field goal in the first quarter, only three short, three yards short of the existing pro record for distance. Crimson Tide quarterback Pat Trammell created whoopee pass, quick shot, shot put to Grayson Hadback and use of play and help position field, fullback Mike Franchia for the first quarter touchdown run and kicker Tim Davis for second quarter field goal. Trammell scored rushing touchdown and pass for another. Afterward, Crimson Tide was extended bid to new national bowl game in Washington, D.C. But Bama had bigger bowls on its mind, stated for December 30th, the national bowl never materialized. Now, this is a big matchup during this week five on October 21st, 1961. And that was a top 10 matchup between number one Michigan State versus number six Notre Dame, where number one Michigan State beat number six Notre Dame, 17-7. Efficient Notre Dame line and terrific tackling by linebacker Nick Monacani bottled up Spartans runners, holding them to 12 yards rushing in the first half. Meanwhile, Irish raced for 170 yards rushing and 7 nothing lead on first quarter touchdown by quarterback Darryl LaMonica, but thanks in part to nine penalties against them, Fighting Irish couldn't turn their dominance into points, failing to take advantage of three interceptions by halfback defensive back Angelo DeBario. Coach Duffy Darty revamped the Spartans' offense at halftime by moving ace linebacker George Sames to full-time fullback duty and amassing huge blockers and tackles Dave Berman and Jim Bobbitt with guard Ed Buddy to clear path for Sames. Had 42 yards rushing on 14 carries to run for 24 and 25 touch 25 yard touchdowns in third quarter. 24 and 25 yard touchdowns in third quarter. So each touchdown was set up by an interception. The first pickoff turned the game in Michigan State's favor. Defensive back Herman Johnson grabbed Lamarca's pass. It deflected off the burial and Michigan State linebacker Wayne Fonts returning it 38 yards to Notre Dame four yard line. Saints went left on 4th and 9 to score standing up from 24-yard line. Fullback defensive back Carl Sharon's interception position change for his second touchdown before the end of third quarter. Now trailing 14-7, Notre Dame sent 235-pound fullback Jim Snowden on 4th down gamble that fell at own 36-yard line. Same chip in 26-yard run before end kicker Art Grandstatter made 20 yard field goal with 9.58 to go. Next, Indiana defeated Washington State 33 to 7. Kansas beat Oklahoma 10 to, 10 to nothing as Jayhawks quarterback halfback John Hadle wore contact lenses for the first time and produced a peerless act at two backfield spots including 30 yard touchdown pass to end Larry Allen in second quarter but Kansas defense was different in the game holding Oklahoma to the lowest offensive output and coach Bob Wilkinson's 15 years, 98 yards offense. Six first downs and only two trips across the midfield. Now it was the first time the Big 8 conference member had blanked any Wilkinson coach team in Norman. Key sequence came after late first quarter punt into strong win. Hunter Hadle punts as soon as 45 yard line. And Oklahoma halfback Paul Lee used in Jim John Binion's uh, crushing blocks to race to Kansas 14 yard line where last tackler Hadle hauled him down. 
determined Jayhawks dug in and held Sooners guard kicker Carl Milstead missed 25 yard field goal in swirling breeze. And at setting up top 10 matchup, number three Texas played against number 10 Arkansas, but number three Texas beat number 10 Arkansas 33 to 7. Whatever hope Razorbacks harbored for third straight Southwest Conference crown all but flickered out as Texas took another landslide win. The Longhorns quarterback Mike Cotton, who ran and passed for touchdowns and used full array of speedy backs to score in every quarter. Halfback Tommy Ford made it 20 0 at halftime as he charged through Hogs on a six straight throws. That's four touchdown at the fumble recovery at 20 yard line, limited to seven first downs and 124 yards total offense. Arkansas turned its passing attack in third quarter for its only success. Parker scored on quarterback George McKinney's short toss to end Jimmy Collier. Texas' immediate answer was its longest drive of the game. It went 85 yards and 17 plays to Cotton's 19-yard touchdown run. Steers gained 354 yards rushing. Next, Texas Tech defeated Baylor 19-17. Red Raiders always slightly more Red Ray is always slightly more ornery and loved it. Surprised but the Baylor, Baylor with two touchdowns in the opening six minutes. Fullback Calvin Coolidge Hunt reputed to be only Texas name for quiet Vermont born 30th U.S. president. Scored from one yard line and two plays later had back defensive back David Rankin sped 26 yards on interception touchdown return for 14-0 lead. Now Bears backup quarterback Bobby Plott Hit 9 for 10 for 124 yards to spark marks of 76 and 69 yards. So after Plot threw short pass to halfback Ronnie Goodwin, who meandered to 26 yard touchdown, halfback Ronnie Bull served 60 yard, 6 yards on fourth down over right tackle Pete Nicholas, blocked to tie it at 14 14 on last play of the first half. Now ahead 17 14 with seconds left in the third quarter, Baylor punter Benny Corley bobbled snap. And tech tackle Larry Mullins blocked punt for safety to trail 17-16. Fullback kicker H.L. Daniels and for Hunt, who suffered late second quarter head injury, looted a 34-yard field goal in the last 27 seconds to clinch Raiders' first win over Bears since 1946. Arizona State beat Oregon State by score of 24 to 23. Washington attack of Oregon State ripped through Arizona State for 248 yards and leads of 16-8 at halftime and 23 to 8 in the third quarter. Despite success of quarterback Terry Baker, a uh, two-point warrior, he was touchdowns in first and second quarter. Coach Tommy Prothro chose to kick the 23rd point at the halfback Leroy Whittle ran eight yards to score in third quarter. Sun Devils outstanding halfback Charlie Taylor got loose for a 64-yard touchdown reception from quarterback Joe Zuger in third quarter. And Zuger added two-point pass to narrow margin to 23-yard, 23-16 late in the third quarter. Now still, Oregon State seems safe until it lost fumble on own 33-yard line with two minutes to play. Arizona State University took eight plays to score on Zuger's 11-yard touchdown pass to end Herman Harrison. Sub-quarterback John Jacobs was inserted for a miraculous two-point play as his pass filtered through hands of the Sun Devils receiver and Beaver's defender before it landed in grass with end Dale Keller, who was seat uh, was on seat of his pants in the end zone. Now UCLA defeated Pittsburgh by score 20-6. Still UCLA defense turned two interceptions to touchdowns to bail out its sagging offense, which according to coach Bill Barnes, should have run more to ram it down their throats. The Bruins tailback Mike Hafner rushed for 120 yards and 27 carries, but was 0 for 6 passing as UCLA missed all seven of its throwing attempts. Hafner raced 25 yards to score on team's initial series of first quarter. Bruins tackled Marshall Shirk, press pressured Bit Pitt, quarterback Jim Trafficant, into second quarter interception by a tailback defensive back Bobby Smith who used crushing block by and Chuck Hicks on the Pittsburgh defensive tackle Ernie Borghetti to bump 29 yards 
29 yards to score for 13 nothing ahead. Edge, for the first leads concern. And aided by a fake punt pass by Trafficant to head back punter Fred Cox. Panthers drove 90 yards in third quarter to score on Cox's surprise 27 yard pass to have back Ed Clark. Halfback defensive back Carmen DiPolio. Return interception 41 yards to Pitt. Two yard line to last minute to set up final Bruins touchdown. And finally, Washington Huskies beat the Stanford Cardinal by a score of 13 0. Now, visiting Stanford had better of play into the second quarter but couldn't catch any of its opportunities. Indians have back kicker Stan Ling, Ling Scott missed fifth goal try early in the, sec- in the second quarter. And thereafter, Stanford lost three interceptions to spoil all its threats. Washington fullback defensive back Jim Steiger made an interception of quarterback Steve Thurlow in the second quarter and returned it to Stanford 37-yard line. Quarterback Pete Older passed 12 yards to have back Martin Wyatt to two-yard line and sneak over for a touchdown, a 7-0 lead. Huskies have back Bill Silent, raised 44 yards to score in the fourth quarter. So, that concludes a look at the week that was, week number five, the games that were played on October 21st, 1961, week number five. Now, the AP poll for October 23rd was Michigan State, number one, number two, Mississippi, number three, Texas, number four, Alabama, number five, Iowa, number six, Ohio State, number seven, Louisiana State, number eight, Notre Dame, number nine, Georgia Tech, and number 10, Colorado. So that includes a look at the week that was as far as uh, the games that were played on October 21st, uh, 1961. Uh, AP poll, once again, for October 23rd was Michigan State at number one, Mississippi at number two, Texas number three, Alabama number four, Iowa five, Ohio State six, Louisiana State 7, Notre Dame 8, Georgia Tech 9, and number 10, Colorado. So that concludes a look at that conclusion of that match, the matchups that were played on October 21st, 1961, week number 5. Please like and subscribe to the channel. This is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, and comment. Until then, talk to you tomorrow.